up YouTube, Tyree here, and in today's video I'm just going to do another movie review. The movie I've chosen to review is called Last of the Living. It's a 2000, eh, sorry, it's a 2009 film, and basically it's a post-apocalyptic themed movie, so I'm just going to go into detail about it without spoiling too much, and then I'm going to give you my opinion on the movie. So, at the beginning of this movie we see some of the main characters, uh, Johnny, Ash, Morgan, and uh, yeah, so those are some of the main characters. Um, and then later on we, we find some more characters, but basically this movie has about five main characters and then the rest are kind of just like zombies. So at the beginning of the movie we have Johnny, Morgan, and Ash who are in their house and they're kind of just discussing different things and eventually they go out and they just start killing zombies and then they meet Steph later on and Steph's father gets bitten by a zombie and he ends up dying they have a little brief moment an emotional moment and then Steph basically tells all of them that she knows where a cure is for this disease that can help everyone and cure everyone at first they don't believe her, but then after seeing so many zombies and different things, they just kind of go with her and they decide to travel and try and get this cure. So throughout this movie, we just see all these characters just kind of fighting zombies, fighting to survive. Um, and basically what ends up happening is every single last one of the characters, except for one of them, gets infected and disposed of. Um, so, with every little instance um, where someone is bitten, there's always a moment where they kind of have like a, a bit of emotional resistance and then they decide, okay, like, this is it, uh, you have to go ahead without me. And, or the other characters do it for them and they say, okay, we can't travel around with you, you're infected. But um, overall, I thought this movie was pretty decent like it wasn't it wasn't exceptional but for what it was like a very low budget film um, it was pretty good um, the acting itself is what sold it for me because with every change in the story the characters also changed with it and it made it more enjoyable because like the whole movie was sort of comical rather than super scary or corny it was it was just very standard and more so kind of realistic because if you were in a situation where you had to fight for your life it's just you and yourself or you and your group and you have your weapons or you don't have your weapons and that's how it actually is um, and those are the movies that can be really enjoyable because it's just the characters versus what's holding them back. And they kind of have to overcome all of the challenges along the way. And that's what all these characters tried to do, but eventually the pressure of all the zombies just was too much for them. There was way too many of them. And uh, it got down to the point where they got to the destination where they needed to go. But the pilot of the plane was Steph, and she, earlier on in the movie, just before they got on the plane was a bit. She said, she insisted that they go on, they said okay, and then right as they were almost there, she turned around and she was all zombified, her eyes were popping out of her head and then, <clears throat> sorry, her eyes were popping out of her head and then they basically just threw her off a plane with the only parachute that they had, and um, Ash ended up landing the plane but then, like, his buddy got infected, and it was just him in the end versus all the zombies. Um, he had the cure, but then he dropped it in the water, and he basically just kept paddling in water because he didn't have really much of an escape. He didn't have anything to offer up. Um, so that was basically the end of that movie. Um, overall, 
again, like I said before, the acting is what sold it for me. The actors were very good at what they did. Um, they were the reason why I was more so into the story and not completely bored with it. And there were moments where I could laugh and really feel every emotion of every individual character and environment. And um, one thing that I found pretty funny was um, the extra use of gamma. Um, in certain scenes, it was very noticeable because the character's face would literally just be orange or green or a combination of different colors. And um, that I found funny. But um, again, like I said, it seemed to me like this is a very low budget film. So I'm not really surprised. But that, for me, was kind of funny because it was just very noticeable. Um, but overall, this film wasn't too, too bad. Like, the acting was good. The story was straight to the point. Um, you knew what the characters were after right from the get-go. And they just went for it. And uh, they weren't really successful with what they wanted to do, but... Overall, they tried everything that they could. And um, also at the beginning of the movie, there was clips of like rioting and police brutality and all kinds of stuff. So like there was a lot of symbolism right at the very start of the movie. And also at the beginning of the movie, one of the characters had a moment where he just kind of like took in that everything was gone or rather every other human was gone and that he was kind of alone or rather with his group of friends exclusively and um yeah um this movie to me is it's sort of similar to the situation we're in right now because everyone is sort of quarantined in this movie as well and they kind of have to fight uh this virus off and um the virus in the case of this movie is uh infection and uh, you get that infection by being bitten by someone who's infected and that's a zombie of course so it wasn't too too bad of a movie um, I had nothing like well everything that I had to say negatively about it I already kind of stated like the gamma and it being really low budget, like you can tell with certain parts because um, it didn't even look like they were remotely hitting them at all. Like it, you could, you could see the space between them. Um, so the editing on that, like, just didn't look that great. It was very noticeable. It looked very fake. Um, but overall, decent movie. Like I said, not like an extraordinary movie, but for what it was, it, it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more videos. I try to upload videos like every week, so yeah. Um, check out my socials. Message me if you want to chat. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Peace.